This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on accounting for branches, dependent branch, data system. I wish to solve one sum here before you, wherein branch account is going to be prepared under data system and the profit will be found out. Just observe the sum that I intend to solve here before you. Look at the sum. This is the sum which I wish to solve here before you. Mukti collection Billy Mora has at Parli Bhakti collection to which goods are supplied at 20% profit on sales. So 20% profit on sales means 20% is to be considered on the invoice price. Cost plus load means profit is equal to invoice price. Now 20% of cost that we have considered in our previous lecture. Now 20% of invoice price is the rate at which the profit is loaded to the cost. So cost plus profit is equal to invoice price or sales of HO2 branch. Invoice price is a sales price of HO2 branch. And 20% of the sales price is an important point of this sum. Head office pays expenses of the branch except PD expenses which are paid by the branch itself. Branch is to be, branch is allowed to maintain a petty cash balance of 600 on impress system from the following balances as shown by the books. Prepare the branch account, branch debtors account and petty cash account from this information. Write of depreciation at the rate of 10%. Now see, what is impress system of cash, petty cash book that you have studied in the earlier days of your life? In case of impress system, the opening cash balance and closing cash balance of opening petty cash and closing petty cash balance is same. So what happens? Whatever the petty expenses are incurred by the branch, to that extent, cash is sent by HO. So cash sent for expenses is always exactly same as expenses paid. This is a peculiarity of impress system. So here opening petty cash balance is 600. Closing petty cash balance is also to be maintained at 600. So whatever the expenses are incurred by the branch for petty expenses, to that extent, cash will be sent by HO to branch. Look at it. Petty cash balance 600. It is an impressed petty cash system. So closing balance is also 600. How can you maintain the opening and closing balance same? For that, what you need to do, whatever the expenses are incurred, so petty expenses incurred are 270. So cash sent by HO2 branch exactly equal to expenses incurred. So this implies that 270 rupees cash sent by HO2 branch for petty expenses. This is the interpretation of this statement. So opening balance 600, closing balance to be maintained 600, expenses 270 implies that cash sent by HO2 branch is 270. Now see. Stock at sales price means invoice price. This 30,000 is the invoice price. How this invoice price is arrived at? By adding 20% profit on the sales price. Here goods sent to branch. So goods are supplied at 25% 20% profit on sales price. So this is also presumed to be the invoice price. Stock at sales price 45,000. So opening stock, goods and closing stock, all these things are given at an invoice price. We are required to find out the profit load in it and find out the cost because branch account is to be debited net of cost. So even if you debit invoice price for opening stock, you should write an adjustment entry for the profit load therein by writing the entry on the opposite side. This is how the accounting is to be maintained wherein invoice price is considered for the purpose of recording. Adjustment entries are recorded there so that cost is depicted in the branch account. Now, Debtors opening balance, cash collected from debtors, here you are given credit sales, so you are required to find out the closing balance of debtors by preparing debtors account. Furniture opening balance and rate of depreciation is given to you, so you can find the closing balance of furniture which need to be absorbed by HO at the end of the year. Prepaid rent, so rent was prepaid at the beginning of the year 450. Rent paid for one year up to 142,000, 15,700. 
Here the accounting year starts from 1st of January ends on 31st of December. So three months rent is prepaid. So we are required to consider the adjustment of prepaid rent while writing the books of accounts. Outstanding salary 150. See outstanding salary is paid 150. Notice it. And here the salary. I'm sorry. Outstanding salary 150. Outstanding salary paid 150. And salary paid up to 31st of November. 3300. So 3300 is the salary for 11 months. So 1 month salary is 300. 12 month salary is 3600. 300 is the outstanding salary at the end of the year. And whatever the salary is outstanding at the beginning of the year 150 that has been paid for that cash is sent by HO to branch for the purpose of payment of outstanding salary. So payment made by head office outstanding salary paid 150. That's an important point to be noticed. Now after explaining these details in this fashion let me start preparation of branch account, cash account, debtors account. These are the working notes that I prepare. Mukti collection Bilimura has at party Prakti collection to win the goods are supplied at 25%, 20% profit on sales price. So profit is 20. Sales price means invoice price. Sales price means invoice price. So price at which goods are sent by HO to branch is known as Sales price for HO or the other name for that is invoice price. So invoice price is 100, 20 is the profit. Cost plus profit is equal to invoice price. So cost element is 80. So cost is found out 80. Now stock at selling price 30,000. Goods sent to the branch that is also at an invoice price. Stock at an invoice price. If you are not told anything in the sum specifically at cost, goods sent to branch at cost, then and then you should presume them to be a cost. Otherwise, take it for granted that they are given at an invoice price. Now, 100 is to 20. How much for 30,000? So it should be 6,000. Profit element is 6,000. Opening stock at cost 30,000 minus 6,000, 24,000. 100 is to 80, how much for 30,000, 24,000? Same way we can find out the profit element and cost element and goods and in the closing stock. So 100 is to 20, how much for 150, 30,000? 150 minus 30, 120 or 100 is to 80, how much for 150,000? So 15 is a 120, 120,000. Similarly, for closing stock, 100 is to 20, how much for 45,000, 9,000? 45,000 minus 9,000 cost is 36,000 or 100 is to 80, how much for 45,000? 36,000. This is how I have prepared a working note. On the basis of working note, I am going to record all the three transactions straight away in my branch account. Branch account debit to stock account at the beginning of the year and the adjustment entry is to be recorded opening stock. So what's the entry? Branch account debit to stock, opening stock account credit 30,000, opening stock account debit 6,000 to branch account credit 6,000. The net effect 24,000 is debited to branch account. Net debit for opening stock at cost is 24,000. Branch account debit to goods sent to branch account. Adjustment entry 30,000 is recorded. So net cost of goods sent is debited to branch account. That is 150 minus 30, that is 120,000. This is how branch is debited at cost. But how it is debited at cost? By debiting invoice price. To the deb by recording invoice price on the debit side and profit element therein is to be recorded on the opposite side. By that, you can find net cost debited to branch account. Closing stock. Net credit at cost 45,000 minus 9,000. This is how these three transactions are recorded in my branch account. Head office pays the expenses of the branch except pay the expenses which are paid by the branch itself. Opening balance of PD cash, branch account debit to PD cash account. At the beginning of the year, all the assets are given to the branch so that economic existence of branch is created. Then the transactions are entered into with the branch during the year. At the end of the year, the economic existence of the branch is absorbed by head office under data system means all the assets and liabilities that existed at the branch at the end of the year are taken by the head office or absorbed by head office in its books of account. So this is the process by which the Assets given to the branch at the beginning of the year. So creation of an economic existence of a branch. Branch account debit to petty cash. 
I write the same balance in my working note petty cash account. Debtors given to the branch at the beginning of the year for creation of an economic existence. Branch account debit to debtors account. The same balance I will record in the debtors account. Opening balance. Furniture given to the branch. Branch account debit to furniture account. I'll calculate depreciation, find the closing balance and record to the credit side of branch account at the end of the year. Now, prepaid rent. So rent prepaid at the prepaid rent means rent paid in advance in the beginning of the year. Now that's an asset given to the branch, branch account debit to prepaid rent account. Outstanding salary is a liability. So liability given to the branch. So when liability is given to the branch, branch is not the receiver but the giver because the liability is an obligation. Obligation given to the branch means branch is giver, credit the giver. So branch account is to be credited for outstanding salary. Goods sent to branch is done. Cash sales that is remitted by branch to HO. So cash account debit to branch account, cash sales. Credit sales is recorded in debtor's account. Credit sales is a transaction between branch and customer not to be recorded in branch account. Now, allowance concession granted to the debtor at the time of making payment. It's a transaction between branch and customer not to be recorded in branch account because in branch account we always record only those transactions which are entered into by head office with branch. So allowance, cash received from customer. Now cash received from customer, it is a transaction between branch and customer but the same amount is required to be remitted by branch to HO. So we write the entry remittance by branch to HO, cash account debit to branch account, collection from debtors remitted. Cash is received, so debtors account is to be credited because to that extent the recovery is made against the credit sales. Bad debts return of debtors account credit won't appear in branch account. Discount to debtors credited to branch account. Rent for one year paid 2700 so payment made by head office. Head office made payment for rent. How much? So that's a cash given by head office to branch. Branch account debit to cash account. Payment for rent 2700 now this 2700 is paid up to 1-4-2015, so 3 months rent is prepaid. So 12 months rent is 2700, how much for 3 months? So 675 is a prepaid rent that we have found out. So prepaid rent at the end of the year by the branch is an asset of the branch to be absorbed by head office in its books of accounts. Branch is the giver, credit the giver, branch account is to be credited. Now salary paid 3300. Now this is a salary paid 3300 only up to November, November 2015. So 11th payment is 3300. One month payment is, payment is outstanding. So 12 month salary is 3300. How much for one month? 300 is outstanding salary. So liability of the branch absorbed by the head office in its books of account. When the liability is absorbed, liability is taken. Branch is the receiver, remember. So branch account debit to outstanding salary account credit. This is the entry to be recorded at the close of the year for uh, recovering the liability. Now one important point, the outstanding salary, 150, is also paid here. Now insurance paid, 540. That is up to 31st of 2016. So three months prepayment. So 135 is the prepayment, prepaid insurance. So insurance 540, this is the prepaid. That is to be carried forward to the next year. So closing balance of asset, absorbed by head office. So credit into branch account. Now outstanding salary paid. So cash sent by head office to the branch for payment of outstanding salary, 150. So 150 was outstanding salary that is being paid. So this 3300 is the salary paid is for 11 months, one month salary is outstanding, you have recorded the entry for outstanding salary. Now PT expense is paid 270 as I have told to you, that much cash is also sent. Now furniture, write of depreciation on furniture at the rate of 10%, opening balance is 15,000, 10% depreciation 1500, balance 13,500, that is absorbed by head office from the branch, furniture account debit to branch account credit, 13,500. Now, 
branch is allowed to maintain a petty cash at the impressed system, so closing balance of petty cash is 600. That is also absorbed by head office. So petty cash account debit to branch account credit. All the assets of the branch are taken by HO at the end of the year. Now this implies that as I explained to you, 270 is the cash received from HO. So cash received from HO means cash sent to branch. Branch account debit to cash account. Petty cash, cash sent for petty cash 270. This is how petty cash account is closed. Now I want to close this debtors account, find the closing balance of debtors. Total 73,500 minus all these items. So you will get the closing balance of debtors. This closing balance of debtors is absorbed by head office at the end of the year. So this balance will go to the credit side of branch account. So all these assets are taken by head office from the branch at the end of the year. Stock account debit, debtors account debit, petty cash account debit, furniture account debit, prepaid rent account debit, prepaid insurance account debit to branch account credit 72,360. This is how all the details for branch account we have recorded. Now let us find out the profit. So total of credit side minus total of debit side, you will find the profit to be 70,200. So this is how the profit is found out by preparing branch account. Now once again as usual, do, shall we get the same profit if we try to find out the profit by preparing memoranda trading and profit and loss account? Let us try out. So here I prepare memoranda trading account for branch. So first item, as you know I prepare from this stock, invoice price 30,000. This is the profit load, opening stock is recorded in the trading account at cost. So I will write 24,000 opening stock. So these two items are considered. Opening balance of debtors is not recorded here. So I just remove it here. Opening balance of debtors. Furniture, opening and closing balance. Difference is depreciation. Debit into profit and loss account. Now prepaid rent, opening balance 450. 270. So 450 plus 2700 minus 7, 675. This is a net expense. That is rent expense to be debited to profit and loss account 2475. This is how it is to be debited. So rent 2700 which includes prepayment at the end of the year that is to be deducted and prepayment at the beginning of the year is to be added. So 2475 rent is to be debited to profit and loss account. Now petty cash opening balance cannot be recorded so cancel. Good send to be recorded at cost just like purchases to the debit side of trading account. So, 120,000 goods sent to the branch, just like purchases debited to trading account. Now, cash sent for petty expenses, salary 3300, plus outstanding, plus 150, minus 150, so 3300, plus 150, plus 300, minus 150, 3600 is the annual salary. 11 month salary is 3300, so per month salary is 300, 12 month salary works out to be 3600, that is to be debited to profit and loss account. So this is done, insurance, 540 in which prepayment is 135, so 405 is actual expense, the outstanding salary is already considered, closing stock will be recorded at cost, so 45,000 minus 9,000, 36,000 closing stock recorded to the credit side of trading account. Now cash sales, that will go to the credit side of trading account, closing cash receipt from debtors not to be recorded in trading and profit and loss account, closing balance of debtors also cannot be recorded in trading and profit and loss account, closing balance of petty cash also cannot be recorded in trading and profit and loss account. Now what is left? Petty expense is debited to profit and loss account, credit sale trading account credit side, allowance is debited to profit and loss account. Bad debts debited to profit and loss account, discount allowed debited to profit and loss account. Now if you try to find out the gross profit that works out to be 79,500 that is transferred to the credit side of profit and loss account. And if you try to find out the profit 79,500 minus all these expenses, you will get the same profit as we have already calculated by preparing branch account. So same profit is worked out by preparing memoranda trading and profit and loss account this is an explanation that profit that you work out by preparing branch account and the profit that you may work out by preparing trading and profit and loss account is going to be same.
So I have tried to explain you this some. I feel that you followed all these things. Thanks to you.